Uh, what is perhaps a bigger question is whether Alan Titchmarsh is a similar symbol of uh, Western imperialism. Yes, really. Um, so Alan Titchmarsh, who, you know, the gardening guy, um, was on, uh, there was a repeat of uh, one of his programmes, in fact, it was possibly illegally shown, on North Korean television, and they blurred out his genes because his genes are apparently a symbol of Western imperialism. Um, I, I was sort of racking my brains yesterday who to get on to talk about this. And I thought there's actually there's actually only one person I want to talk about. There are two people. One of them is Alicia Fitzgerald. But the one person I mainly want to talk to about this is the person who just adds a dose of common sense to any uh, sort of crazy uh, story. And that is Claire Muldoon, the broadcaster and journalist. Claire, you're very, very welcome to the <laughs> programme. Peter. Um, I, I mean, do, uh, do you think Alan Titchmarsh is a symbol of Western imperialism? <laughs> He's certainly not an agent provocateur for Northern Korea and Kim Jong-un's uh, communist state. I mean, this is just absolutely unbelievable. Daytime TV, just picture this. You're alone, you're sitting in your, your, your flat or your house in Northern Korea. Your daytime TV starts at 3 p.m. It starts with lots of propaganda, weather, news, and the anchor is an 80-year-old woman that's known for her sensitivity and common sense. Maybe I'll be still um, broadcasting at 18. In, 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 in 60 years' time, Claire. <laughs> oh, I love it, Peter. I see what you did there. Anyway, and it's interlaced with weather and actually some historic programmes. They've got films. They've got um, historic... They've clearly got Gardener's World. <laughs> yes. In order for, you know, the border for them to have some form of protection against the outside world, They've blurred out Pete, um, uh, Titch Marsh's trousers because denim has actually been outlawed as it's a proponent of Western capitalism, moreover, American imperialism. So not only can we not catch a glimpse at um, Alan Titch Marsh's package, packet, trousers, we can't actually see any form of denim used in the whole state of North Korea. L let me, let me... Let me, br let me bring in Alicia Fitzgerald, who's with me all day. I mean, do you think we should? it should be blurred or should we be able to see Alan Titchmarsh's seed packet? <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you say that to me? I think I, I think I'll unblur it. Unblur it for the people. Unblur it it's for the, the people. people want. It, that, it, that's it is it. what the people want. Um, I, I wonder if we can just ask the vision mixer, who's the wonderful Alicia, if we can have Alicia Fitzgerald and Claire on me all on one screen uh, just at the same time. We'll see if we can do that. Just if you're watching on Talk TV or if you're listening on Talk Radio, I'll describe it uh, to you because I want to I want to uh, show the three of us on screen at the same time. Uh, yes, there we are. Ah, so, there we are. Uh, Alicia, stand up. I'm standing up as well. And I'm showing you that both Alicia and I are wearing our jeans. We're, we're it's happy. It's too early to see that shot. You're <laughs> sitting down. You're scandalising people. You, usually only on OnlyFans. <laughs> um, Alan Titchmarsh <laughs> is a symbol of Western imperialism. Perhaps Alicia Fitzgerald and I are too. Are you happy with your status, uh, Alicia? Yeah. It's the best I'll ever get, I reckon. Excellent, oh, excellent. Put that right on the, the I was going to say the hinge. Put it on your Twitter bio, Alicia. Well, yeah. The yeah. LinkedIn. We'll Tw do that Twitter soon. bio, yeah, well, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> indeed. Um, there's another story yeah. I wanted to ask you about, uh, Claire, as the sort of doyen of common sense. Maybe that can be your new title. Um, <laughs> Apparently, one NHS doctor has urged people. Oh, this is goodness me. yeah. This is Dr. Andrew Kelso uh, warning yes. warning that you shouldn't eat a whole Easter egg in one go. Uh, what do you? I mean. I mean Easter from Sunday the coming NHS up. Trust of um, Suffolk and Essex. He's a senior doctor there, and what he said was, I mean, he should be Doctor Killjoy more than Doctor Kelso. Um, he's he's warning us, you know, to take it easy this Easter. Um, what does he say? Resist the urge. Um, uh, because that we shouldn't be, we shouldn't overdo it either, apparently. And what's he talking about? He's talking about the humble Easter egg. Well, I don't know about you, Dr. Kelso, but I've got my children coming back for Easter and I can't wait to get them. But as I moaned at the time, the Easter eggs were out in the shops by, what, January? So they'll be, they'll be lucky if they got the original ones that I actually bought them because, oops, they're probably being eaten. Well, listen, these, these things happen, Claire. You know, you've got to, got to keep up with all those uh, best before dates. But, <laughs> I mean, this is, this is incredible. He advised people not to resist the urge to eat an Easter egg in one go. He said that it all adds up to a lot of extra sugar and calories and doesn't do our bodies any good. I mean, everyone I mean, knows that. On, and also, it's, it's Easter, I mean, this you is know. This is, it, it, got, it goes beyond nanny state. This is patronising. Yeah. People know what makes people obese, what makes people type 2 diabetic. In fact... 
It's not only sugar that does, stress actually makes people diabetic as well. Stress is a bigger killer. So I would rather healthcare providers actually helped people um, and society actually helped people manage stress yeah, more yeah. than manage what you put in your mouth, what you drink, and what if, if you smoke. I mean, yeah. come on. We need to be autonomous for our own beings. We are in charge of our own lives. We certainly don't need Dr. Kelso to tell us to resist the urge. Completely correct, uh, Claire. I agree with everyone. Thank you very much and happy Easter if I don't see you. Happy Easter to you. It's a, it's a